TV taught me how to dream. You mentioned earlier there's nothing like the energy of, of a prize fight. Uh, what got you into boxing? Muhammad Ali. Uh, I was an 18-year-old in my edit booth. They were converting from film to videotape. So all the film guys uh, were in the union and they took the buyout. They didn't want to learn a new craft. So I was 18 years old, the University of Colorado, and they hired me to be a videotape editor. I hired a bunch of young men and women. And so I was in my edit booth editing the Broncos with Red Miller show. Uh, they were getting ready for the draft and I was there at about seven o'clock in the morning and in came the assignment editor running in and she said, you know something about sports? You were the sports intern and you edit all the sports videotape. And I said, yeah, what's going on? She said, Muhammad Ali's two and a half hours early at the airport, go interview him. I'd never done an interview before. It was the first interview I was ever being asked to do. <laughs> wow. So I didn't have any any clothes, I went into the weatherman's office, tried to fit on his stuff, but it was too small. He was a little, little itty bitty guy named Stormy. And so I just ended up <laughs> getting in my car and running out there. But you gotta understand, they couldn't find the news anchors. They couldn't find the sports anchors. They couldn't find reporters because nobody picked up their home phone at that hour. They were either asleep or they were at breakfast or out for a jog or in the shower, whatever they were doing. So I went out there and I saw Ali and we went into this uh, little room at Stapleton International Airport and I asked the first question and he said, you're doing this interview? And everybody in the entourage started to laugh. Well, that laughter made me laugh because it was funny and I wasn't ready for this interview and it relaxed me mm. instead of seeming like he was making fun of me, it was funny what he said. By about the third or fourth question, he said, you sound like the local Howard Cosell. And let me tell you guys, that was wow. the best, Matt and Jackson, wow. Stephen, that was the best compliment I'd ever had in my life, okay? <laughs> and that just propelled me with confidence. So I came back to the, to the station, he right. gave me 45 minutes, and I was gonna edit my- A whole nother man though, I'm sure. But you came back a whole nother man, like, I okay. was just I was just on cloud nine. I mean, this was the most <laughs> famous guy in the world, a sporting icon. Right. I had watched all of his interviews my whole right. life with my dad, with I Muhammad Ali it. and Howard I Cosell. It. So I went to edit myself out because they weren't gonna put me on the air. I wasn't an on the air personality. I was an 18 year old editor uh, in college. So as I was editing myself out uh, for the evening news, the head of the bureau walked in, the news director, a man named Roger Ogden, and he watched this tape with me for an hour and a half. He watched the 45 minute interview twice. At the end of it, he looked up at me and he said, I'm putting you and this video on the air. It's barely adequate. Wow. So I tell everybody I've been barely adequate ever since and, and, and here we are. But that led, <laughs> back then they had this thing called, it was an ABC station and ABC had this, uh, 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 thing that was called DEF, ABC DEF. DEF stood for Daily Electronic Feed, and they would feed out everything from the local stations to each other. So all of the ABC affiliates would get this. So they uploaded mine uh, on the Daily Electronic Feed to all the other ABC stations. Well, almost all the stations took it down and put it on their news because here was a young kid interviewing Ali. Well, that got back to Ali, that it was a big success, the interview and how he had treated me. And, and so he started letting me come to all of his fights from then on and interview him before the fight and after <sighs> the fight. So and so Holy ABC shit. took notice of that and my boss took notice of that. And then Bob Arum hired me because he saw that Ali had opened the door. So if Ali was good with mm -hmm. me, then he started letting me interview Hagler and Hearns and Duran and all of oh. his big fighters that uh, Ray, Sugar Ray Leonard. And so, that opened the door and then Don King saw that. And then so Don King and Bob Arum, who were <laughs> big, big rivals, both hired me and I was just a young kid and they right. would bring me in before their big closed circuit fights to do all of the interviews for that week. Well, back then, you know, there wasn't, they, they didn't have stuff like we have now. So this, this was a right. way that every station in the country could get material without having to pay to put a reporter there. They'd get all of these interviews. And so uh, it just opened all of the doors and, and and uh, so it's Muhammad Ali to answer your question. It was a long answer, I'm sorry. All good, it was a great answer.